Two major systems on the move. Thank you for taking the time to subscribe and be part of this weather community. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. The first system scraping by the Gulf of Mexico, United States back toward the Atlantic region of Canada. This one is setting the stage for that cold air. So once this moisture from the Pacific and the Gulf of Mexico lifts to the north, there will be snow across parts of the southern United States over toward parts of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, not typical at all. I want to zoom down and go slowly as we go ahead. So one system moving by, this one a tornado potential with it, and then we'll get that cold air in place, and then that second system runs right into that cold air. Here's what's going on now. In the first system, setting the stage for that second snowmaker, and these systems will be diving down closer to the Caribbean. This one, you can see this is the first cold front moving in. That gives that Arctic plunge. Yes, a severe weather threat with that as it moves by. Keep an eye on everything. I look to the north and you start to get hints of what's going on in the atmosphere. You just look back here through parts of Kentucky over toward West Virginia. Some of this snow, a couple things that's telling me. One, well, there's snow. The second thing, uh, that that cold air is plunging down behind this front. Here's the north side of it. And you see it here through parts of New England up toward the Atlantic region of Canada, which I'll highlight in just a second. Even a quick moving system that's not getting headlines over toward the mid-Atlantic of the United States. I'll show you that as well. This morning we've been seeing a few of those showers rolling by parts of the Caribbean, all eyes on this front to the north, and then that big moisture feed that will happen right behind that first front. And then we'll see how far south some of these fronts get. So let's start with the big picture first, and then I'll get into the snow depth and some of those very high seas. So here's that first front. Out ahead of it, seeing some of those spotty showers. We had that yesterday, for example, in Dominica. But as this front moves by, there's the cold weather and there's that sneaky piece of this bringing snow to parts of the mid-Atlantic. Now, as this system moves away, we get that moisture feeding in. And that cold air, it is uh, legitimately cold. So that is going to hang in place. And then you see here, we turn our attention to that second system. So this here is by tomorrow afternoon. You see the rain building right at the Bay of Campeche lifting up toward Texas. So that is the uh, second piece of this. The first one, the cold air. And then the second piece is that moisture. So as we get deeper into uh, tomorrow, tomorrow night and Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, this moisture, the rain, runs right into the cold air. So with that cold air in place, you could see some of that snow that we'll see in Louisiana and parts of Texas. And it will be pretty significant. There could be a few inches of snow possible, in particular in parts of Louisiana. I'll zoom down. I'll go slower in just a second. This here is by Wednesday morning on the back side of this. Parts of the Carolinas, that forecast is a little bit trickier for the Carolinas into uh, Georgia and kind of scraping by the panhandle of Florida, a chance of some snow mixing in. And then this front will start to move across, kind of clipping by parts of uh, Mexico near Belize, Cayman Islands, close to Jamaica and Cuba as we get down the road. A couple impulses along this, another shot of some snow, parts of the mid-Atlantic, and over toward the Atlantic region of Canada. And this just looking way out in time, this is by next weekend to show you what's next. Look how far south that front stretches all the way down near Haiti and the Dominican Republic for us. So we have some cooler nights ahead in parts of the Northern Caribbean. And then looking ahead, this is a week from now. So next Sunday, there's another system. It is gonna stay very active, pulling through the end of this month into uh, next month. Now, what is a little different, of course, we get the cold air this time of year, but that moisture feed coming in across the Pacific and Gulf of Mexico has been a little more intense this winter, and that's why we've seen more of these southern systems that have been around. Here's a closer look, and then I'll show you the snow depth. All right, so here is that first front. I mentioned that uh, risk of severe weather with it, even a tornado threat watching over toward the Bahamas. Bahamas, I don't expect uh, any snow. Back in the 1970s, the late, I think it was 1970s, there is some snow back toward Miami and over toward the Bahamas. Now, let's get into this next system. So that first one moves by. Let's go out in time here. This is by the time we get into Monday afternoon. There's that moisture. This is Monday night. Uh, so as we get into tomorrow night, the moisture lifts right into that cold air. We start to get a little changeover. We start to see some snow uh, near the Houston area. It's going to be a close call uh, as far as how much. It's kind of uh, the timing just all needs to kind of come together. But as this 
evolves more so by the time we get into Monday night and Tuesday morning. There will be a significant snow. Keep an eye on Beaumont. Should be just to the north watching near Baton Rouge and then just off to the east of there. There could be a few inches of snow. Uh, snow sometimes happens in this area, but usually it's kind of quick hitting, uh, kind of mixes in. Uh, but this time there could actually be a couple inches of snow watching Louisiana, southern Mississippi. This here is by Tuesday afternoon. Usually the daytime warms up, but that cold air is in place. Tuesday afternoon watching the snow. Mississippi, back toward parts of Alabama, just scraping by uh, the panhandle of Florida. Not a ton in Florida, but there could be that little changeover, uh, maybe some uh, wet snowflakes uh, mixing in in some spots all the way down toward Gainesville. You see here, this is by the time we get into Tuesday evening, some of that snow creeping back toward parts of Georgia at this point. Now watching the heavier rain in parts of the Gulf of Mexico, and then just on the backside of this, a little bit tricky to see how much moisture will be in place through the Carolinas. So I'm not sure how much snow in eastern North Carolina and eastern South Carolina, but just a little snow on the back side of the system. This here is by the time we get into Tuesday night. And then as we work our way into Wednesday, this here is Wednesday morning, a little bit of leftover snow. Could see that changeover near Jacksonville going from rain to snow or even some sleet, which will be some of those ice pellets. And then eventually as we go through the day on Wednesday, this will move off. And then we'll watch out for some of that rain near Freeport, New Providence as we work our way into Wednesday afternoon afternoon with that front moving in and that means some cooler nights. Now I like this map because it's a high re resolution map. Now this white in here, this is just the mapping sometimes does some strange things, but this here is that snow potential. I mentioned Louisiana. You see that green popping up just away from the water. Uh, so New Iberia uh, just to the north of New Iberia. That's where there could be a couple inches of rain, maybe two, three, four or snow rather, two, three, four inches of snow as I correct myself there and keep an eye on that Houston area and then that chance of some snow totals parts of uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia and just scraping by the uh, Carolinas there keep an eye on the panhandle of Florida too. It'll be very interesting to see how that shakes uh, out and the, this is this is the piece of the puzzle. It's that cold air. It's that first front today's front that allows something like this to happen. Here's the Arctic air today's front working by so this is by this afternoon. Watch what happens here, this is by the time we get into uh, tomorrow, that Arctic air starts to plunge down with that, that regular cold air starts to move down all the way into the Gulf of Mexico. And even watching back toward uh, uh, Mexico itself, back toward Guatemala, we're going to have some colder nights. You hit the higher terrain even back through Costa Rica. It's been a little bit chillier at night. So this here is by the time we get into Monday afternoon, kind of taking forward. This here is by Tuesday morning, stopping the clock here. And all of that cold air is in place. And as I just showed you, here's the Arctic air, this shading right up here. But this cold air is in place. And as I just showed you at this point, we we have that moisture that is just running right into this colder air. And that's why we're seeing that snow in some uh, kind of unusual places with some of the decent totals. Now on the south side of all of this, so watching that front today, we've had those spotty showers watching Barbados, St. Lucia, and they get clipped by a couple showers. Had a few in Trinidad and Tobago, and I mentioned Dominica earlier. Uh, here's that front that will be moving by. This is that first front that's sliding by as we go throughout the uh, day today. Then into tomorrow, there's that moisture feed back behind. Now, hit or miss showers. We're going to see a few of those. Could see even a couple across the ABC Islands, St. Vincent the Grenadines, Grenada. We may get a couple of those showers, but there's that moisture building. Now, much of Central America were dry, but that moisture feed just coming off of the Pacific, Bay of Campeche, in through the uh, Gulf, all lifts to the north, and that's what's going to run in to that colder weather that is up to the north. This here is by Tuesday afternoon. See all that moisture right here lifting in, but ahead of this system, we have some of those spotty showers that will still be a possibility. Even Antigua and Barbuda, Anguilla, St. Kitts, Nevis, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, we may see one or two showers, but there's that moisture pumping up and then running right into that colder air. On the north side of this, here's that sneaky piece of this today. I mentioned that severe weather threat, but that the, look at that snow right there. It's two pieces up here. You see over toward a Newfoundland, we'll see that chance of some of that rain, uh, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, but there's some of the snow there. So as this moves away, 
We watch this next piece across New England. There's some of the snow, Cape Cod Bay, Cape Cod, and then lifting up into Monday morning, we'll see some snow on the back side of this, rain on the uh, east side of this, Avalon Peninsula, uh, uh, Newfoundland, some of the rain, and then eventually changing over to a little bit of snow as this works our way on Monday afternoon. And then, of course, the even colder weather in place. There's been a lot of advisories, uh, warnings put out across parts of Canada into the United States for this big cold plunge that is moving by. This here is by the time we get into Tuesday, some snow showers and the cold. And then you can see here, there's that wintry weather right near the Gulf of Mexico. Look how the seas uh, correspond to all of this. Today, we have that first front moving by. This is meters. There's feet on the right-hand side of your screen to keep everyone covered. But of course, choppier seas uh, as we go over the next few days. This is by tomorrow. Then tomorrow, that moisture is going to lift through the Gulf, that next system developing. And look how the seas build. This is on Tuesday, Tuesday into Wednesday. Uh, some very rough conditions, parts of the Gulf of Mexico as this next front moves by over toward the northern Bahamas, even choppy in the Caribbean. I mentioned for the week ahead, conditions in the water not as good. Those Atlantic passageways near uh, coming across uh, Barbados, of course, uh, but coming out of uh, Guadalupe, Martinique, Dominica, uh, even down through Trinidad and Tobago, watching out on the Atlantic side for some of those higher seas as we go throughout the week ahead. Now, as far as rain goes, I mentioned northern Bahamas, we may see a little bit, but a lot of these blues showing up tell me we're going to have 25 millimeters of rain or less if we even do get some rain. Western Cuba with these fronts moving in, chance of a couple showers. And you see Cayman Islands, Jamaica, uh, back through the Dominican Republic, Haiti. The rain chance isn't super high, so I don't expect very high totals, but I circled a few minutes ago, a couple showers possible, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, who may get some spots that could get about 25 millimeters of rain, then hit or miss, but a little bit more or Dominica South, where we could get some two day, three day totals rather of about 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain in a couple locations. Even by the ABC Islands, we could see a couple showers uh, that will be moving by. Northern Guyana, Northeastern uh, Venezuela, a few showers kind of scattered about, not super high totals back through uh, Central America. Mexico City to the north, generally dry. Most of that action is off to the east with that moisture that will be lifting up to the north. So you see the rain chance for us in Jamaica, we're only looking at a 20% chance the next couple of days. 20, maybe 30% chance by tomorrow across the Cayman Islands. 30% chance Trinidad and Tobago the next couple of days. We will be up though to about a 40% chance on Tuesday. So a couple showers, but you see in Barbados, rain chance today 50% and a 40% chance tomorrow. And then a few spotty showers possible rolling in out of the east across uh, St. Lucia. 40% chance the next couple of days in Grenada and about a 30 to 40% chance the next three days St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance holding at 40% in Martinique, holding at 40% for the next two days in Dominica. We had some of those showers yesterday. 40% chance the next couple of days in Guadalupe, 20 to 30% chance in Tiga Barbuda. So chance of a shower, but rain chance is not too high. St. Kitts, Nevis, and Montserrat, a 20% chance, 20 to 30% chance in Guilla and St. Bart's, and seeing an isolated chance in Martin, Seba, and Stacia. Rain chance tomorrow and Tuesday in Puerto Rico, about a 30% chance. And I mentioned a few of those passing showers possible. Uh, British and U.S. Virgin Islands. Bahamas, northern Bahamas, we have a better chance of some of those showers, especially later today with that front moving by. Turks and Caicos were mainly dry. Dominican Republic, we may get a few showers northern and eastern side. We swing back toward Haiti, generally dry weather holding on into the upcoming week. Belize, a few scattered showers with the tail end of these fronts. So, uh, tomorrow and Tuesday for us in Belize may get a couple of those showers just kind of uh, scooting by. Not a ton though, but a passing shower possible in Aruba. Could see a few isolated showers on Curacao over toward Bonaire. Rain chance 20 to 30 percent in Guyana. 30 uh, percent chance by Tuesday. 20 to 30 percent chance as well in Suriname. As we work our way into Cuba, western Cuba, better chance of rain. Central and eastern zones mainly dry. Costa Rica and Panama 30 to 40 percent chance of rain. We'll do that again the next couple of days in Nicaragua, up to about a 50% chance uh, tomorrow and Tuesday in Honduras. Rain chance staying on the low side, Guatemala and El Salvador with some of those cooler nights moving in, some cooler nights in Mexico City. Rain chance 20 to 30%, some passing showers, Yucatan Peninsula and Merida, and then on the flip side over toward Cancun and Cozumel. Northern Colombia mainly dry, 20 to 30% chance in northern Venezuela. And then once again, as we swing back toward Bermuda, watching these fronts coming at us tomorrow, rain chance 
at about 60%. So very active pattern. Cold air with that first system plunging to the south. That rain builds in the Gulf of Mexico, and then that just runs into that cold air. So that rain, that rare snow, likely for many uh, in parts of the Gulf of Mexico, and that active pattern, as I was mentioning, will continue right into next month. So thank you for being part of this weather community. Keep me posted in the comments. I'll go through uh, those throughout the day. I hope you have a wonderful day ahead.